Let's look at denoising within Affinity Photo, both when developing RAW files and when we're editing images or documents in the main photo persona. So let's look at RAW files first. I have here a particularly noisy astrophotography image. So if I just zoom into the sky, we'll be able to see all of that noise. So the way we tackle this is to move across to the details panel here and we can see by default we're already applying some noise reduction. So photo will always apply color noise reduction when we develop a RAW file. If I just move the colors slider to zero, you can see all of the original color or chroma noise present within that RAW file. So in most cases we definitely want to either keep the slider at its default value or if we find we're still getting some color noise in our RAW image, we can increase it further. So the slider that we're most interested in is the luminance slider. If I start to drag this to the right, you can see we're gradually denoising all of that luminance noise in the image. But now we need to find a balance between denoising and sacrificing detail. So the details slider can help with this. If we drag it to the right, we start to just give a bit more balance to preserving details at the expense of less denoising. Alternatively, if we drag the slider all the way to the left, we're giving more strength to the denoising, but we're sacrificing more detail. So it's up to us to find a good balance that works well for the type of content that we're trying to denoise. Okay, I'll settle for that for my raw image. So now let's look at the options we have for denoising in the main photo persona. So in my image here, if I just zoom in, I have some noise in the blurred background that I want to reduce. So I could do this destructively by going to filters, noise and choosing denoise. Okay, and I'll just drag the luminance slider up until we start to eliminate that noise. Then I'll click apply. Okay, so that's one approach, but the problem now is that we've lost some fine detail in the actual subjects, especially this one where the focus wasn't particularly sharp to begin with, and now we've gone and made that even worse by just getting rid of any fine detail that was there. So we can tackle this. I'm going to undo that noise reduction. As you can see, we get more texture back in the subject. And this time I'm going to apply the denoise non-destructively. And I'm also going to mask it. So, first of all, let's just move across to layers and make sure we have our background pixel layer selected. That's our image. Then I'm going to create a selection. So I'll use the selection brush tool, use the right bracket key to increase the brush width, and then I'm going to quickly click drag and make a selection of the sheep and the lambs here. Okay, so now I'm going to invert that by going to select and invert pixel selection. This now selects the background. And now what I can do is go to layer, new live filter layer, noise and denoise. Okay, so this has added a live denoise, but it is masked to just the background. Okay, so if I go to select and deselect, then I drag my luminance up. Let's just close that live denoise and zoom in. So here we can see we've got a nice smooth denoised background, but crucially we've retained that fine grain or noise in the subjects. So let me just hide the noise reduction live filter layer. There's our noise in the background and there's our detail in the subject. And then let me just show the noise reduction layer. There we go. We knock out the noise in the background, but we keep the finer detail in the subjects. So there we go, just some options for denoising your images in Affinity Photo.